today we are going to talk about some fun ways that you can use your sentiments to create a background in your card making. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have three different ways you can use sentiments from your stamp set or from your die set in your card making. Now the cards in this video feature the Nothing's Better Than stamp set from Stampin' Up! and the Love You More Than die set from Stampin' Up! However, keep in mind that you can use any stamp set or die set to create the sentiment backgrounds for your cards. For a complete list of supplies and all of the step-by-step -step instructions for creating these cards, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Okay, so the first way that you can use sentiments as a background in your card making is simply to stamp them. And that's exactly what I did with this particular card. So let me show you how to create this card. So you're gonna start with a piece of early espresso cardstock for the base of your card. Next, you're going to cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. So this is the piece that we will do our sentiment stamping on to create our background. Next, you wanna choose a stamp set that has a variety of different sentiments in it that you can use. So for my card, I'm using Stampin' Up's Nothing's Better Than stamp set. So it has a variety of different images in it that I can use to create a background with my sentiments. Next, you need to choose your ink colors. So for the cards I'm sharing today, I'm going to be using Early Espresso ink and Crumb Cake ink. Okay, so I'm going to be using five different sentiments from this particular stamp set, and I'm just going to randomly stamp them in various spots on my cardstock. So there is really no particular way that you have to do this. You just wanna kinda of keep in mind that as you're stamping, that you leave enough space for the sentiments that you want to add to your project. So notice how I'm just kind of randomly stamping different sentiments that go together. And then I'm adding the word coffee. Okay, so you can see that I didn't go all the way down to the bottom and that's because I'm gonna be adding some other little embellishments to my card. So I really don't need to stamp a bunch of things down here. I just kind of wanted to cover the top part of the card. So now that I have my sentiments stamped in my background, we are ready to create the card. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you want to cut a one and a half by four inch piece of soft suede cardstock. And then I just embossed it with the corrugated embossing folder. Um, but you don't have to emboss it. You can leave it just as is and you want to adhere it to the bottom of the card. Next, you're going to wrap a bit of twine around the bottom part of the card. And then we're just gonna tie the ends into a little bow. Okay, once you have created your bow, then you can go ahead and adhere this entire piece to your card front. Then for the finishing touch, I just created two different circular shapes. So this one was created with the stitched shapes dies. And then this one was just a scalloped, layering scalloped circle. So I'm just gonna layer these two together. And I just stamped a little image from this particular stamp set on my white circle. And then I'm just going to pop this up with a couple dimensionals and that's it. So there you go. It's just a fun and simple way to use your sentiments to create a background on your card. And of course, you can also decorate the inside of the card. Okay, the second card idea features the die cut words in a little tone on tone effect. So the tone on tone effect is really the use of early espresso cardstock to cut out my sentiments here or my words and then I adhered it to a piece of early espresso cardstock so it kind of gives it that subtle look and then here I used a piece of crumb cake cardstock to just kind of make one of the words pop on the front of the card so let me show you how to create this one okay so you're going to start with a piece of crumb cake cardstock for the base of your card so for now, we'll just set this aside. Next, you will cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of early espresso cardstock. 
Now I am using one of the dies from the Love You More Than die set from Stampin' Up. So this is the die set that coordinates with my stamp set. So I'm using the coffee die. So basically what I did is I cut out the word coffee three times on a piece of early espresso cardstock. So you can see that it's already cut out here. And then I cut out the word coffee on a piece of crumb cake cardstock. So I cut this word out four times and we're going to adhere this to our card front. Now I'm using some adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up. So basically all I have to do is just peel these off and stick them right to the card. This first card that I created, I actually glued them on using a sponge and some liquid glue, but I really like the adhesive sheets. It makes it so much easier and so much cleaner to add my words to my card front. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do before we add the words is I want you to cut a one by five and a quarter inch piece of patterned paper. So this is one of the patterns from the Neutrals Designer Series Paper Pack. And we're just going to adhere it to the left side of this early espresso piece. So that will just help guide where I'm going to put the words on this particular piece of cardstock. Okay, so the best way to peel these off is just to poke out all the little pieces first and then go ahead and peel this off. So you'll be left with the backing here and then this has your sticky part on it. So this is what we are going to use to adhere these. So we're gonna start at the top and adhere the top one first. And then we'll go ahead and adhere the bottom one next. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the other ones and just kind of eyeball it so that they're in between these two pieces that I adhered first. And here is the crumb cake one. Okay, now we're going to, again, wrap some twine or linen thread around our card. And we will tie this into a little bow Okay, once we have our little bow tied here, then we can go ahead and adhere this to our card front. And then for the finishing touch, we're just gonna add a little die cut that I stamped a coffee cup on, and we'll just add that right to our twine. And that's it. So again, this just provides a little subtle look in the background. And then of course, you can decorate the inside of the card as well. So I just used the same size paper. So this is one by five and a quarter inches. I used the same pattern paper to decorate the inside. Okay, and this third card idea is a fun way to use your sentiments in the background. So I just created a little frame around the outside of the card front using the die cuts from this particular set. So let me show you how to do this. So you're going to start with a piece of early espresso cardstock for the base of your card. And you're going to cut out, in this case, I'm using three different sentiments. So I'm using the chocolate, the cookies, and the coffee. So you're gonna cut out two chocolate, two cookies, and two coffee words that we're gonna use to frame out the front of our card. So I'm gonna start by adhering the first word in the upper right-hand corner of the card front. So I wanna use the largest word first because then I can fill in with the smaller ones after that. So I'm gonna take the other chocolate word and I'm gonna put it down on the bottom, left-hand side of the card front. And then I'm gonna take these other words and I'm just gonna fill it in on each side of the card front here. So remember, I'm using this adhesive sheet. So basically, I've cut out my die and all I have to do is peel off that backing and then just adhere it to the card front. No mess and no fuss, I love that. Okay, now I'll add the coffee word down on the bottom here. And the other coffee word is gonna go up on the top here and the last one will go right in here. So you can just kinda eyeball them and spread them out as you need to. So notice how I used white cardstock to create all the words to frame out the front of my card. It was just kind of a bolder statement. You could actually use the tone on tone if you like that better. 
Then to decorate the card, I cut a two by three inch piece of designer paper and I put that right in the center of the card front. And then again, I stamped a little image on one of my die cuts and we're gonna adhere that right to the center of the card. And then I'm just gonna use some cookie and little candy images to kind of decorate underneath that coffee cup. Since we have chocolate cookies and coffee, we need to have chocolate cookies and coffee decorations on the front of the card. Okay, so of course you can also decorate the inside of the card. So I did a little bit of stamping, same images that I used on the front of the card, I decorated the inside. So this card basically says cookies, coffee, chocolate kind of day. I thought it was pretty cute. Okay, so there you go. Now you have three different ways that you can use sentiments or words to create a background for your cards. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.